Pennsylvania. I, I don't I don't know. Uh, it's, it's four hours because because when Triple H announced it was four hours or reiterated last night at the beginning of Raw, I feel like he said that in the same tone where, where he said, I can't believe we do three hours of freaking Raw on the Stone Cold podcast. <laughs> so, like, I think there's a little bit of, yep, well, we're doing four hours, guys. Uh, so, so there's that. Well, let's, let's, let's let first start on that point. What do you guys think about this becoming a four hour pay per view? Um, do you feel like that, that elevates it a little bit to be a WrestleMania on top of all this card and everything? Or is this kind of, um, um, uh, stretching it a little too far, just like we have with raw for several years? Uh, LB, is this extra hour going on to the beginning or the end? (laughs) That's uh, it starts at seven. So yeah, at the beginning. This is the beginning. Okay, acceptable because I cannot handle another hour at the end of a pay per view. Right, right, right. Exactly. A lot of people have to go to work the next day, right? Yeah, I'm one of those people. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's um, part of me likes it um, because it kind of takes me from let's just have people over to watch the pay per view to wow, four hour pay per view. Maybe we should have the grill ready. Maybe we should make some hot dogs. <laughs> Maybe Let's I spend should the whole fucking up, day together. We should blow up the inflatable pool and set up the badminton net. I mean, I don't know. I just start to get a little bit crazy. So we're- I tell you what, it kind of ruined my schedule because I was going to go to a wrestling show uh, before it that starts at two o'clock, and I don't know if I'll have time to do that now. To be quite honest, like this kind of like eats into the rest of your day. Um, so sorry, Indies, for one thing, right? Uh, but that is that is half of a regular work shift. <laughs> I work eight hours a day. I could spend half of that watching one pay-per-view. You know what? And Raw kind of feels like half of that work day as it is, right? So mm-hmm. Sometimes. 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 Yeah. sometimes. Uh, but anyways, uh, so, so I mean, what are they filling that with, though? Uh, wrestling, hopefully. I think, I think they're even having a pre-show. That's the scarier thing. They are having a pre-show? I think that's what I heard. And, I mean, if that's four hours plus a half-hour pre-show... Um, no, it's can an I hour. Face off now. No, it's an hour. No, it's an hour. Okay. Oh, oh uh, I really want to blow my face off then. You want to? I mean, I don't think I, I, mean, I don't I'm think sorry. it's. I love wrestling, and I I mean I work for wrestling companies, and just all the craziness that WWE has, four hours plus. Um. Triple H, I'll meet you down the road, and we'll both have a cold one or something because you're going to need it after this. <laughs> there are ten- Isn't that kind of what this is all about? This is all about WWE testing our love for wrestling. <laughs> That's kind of like why they expanded Raw to three hours. How much do you love like, okay, wrestling? We know, we, we know you like this. Do you love three hours of it every Monday? Okay, we know you guys like wrestling. Will you subscribe to a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week network that is nothing but wrestling? Okay, we know you love wrestling. Will you let us expand SummerSlam to an extra hour? And where do we go after this, Sword? What's next? I I mean, can we just assume that this is going to be four-hour SummerSlams from here going forward? If uh, WWE has their way, I think if the experiment works, yes, and because they, I, I think they want. When, okay, what if they do get to that point where we have a second WrestleMania? That's more money for them, right? This becomes something that happens in bigger and bigger venues. Maybe, maybe they start having it in in smaller uh, outside stadiums. It's the middle of summer. That's easier. Now you can do. Now you could do. We, I mean, we've been saying like, well, could they do WrestleMania in Heinz Field here in Pittsburgh? They could do a SummerSlam. Yeah, it definitely opens up a lot of um, yeah, a lot of cold weather markets that you normally know, yeah. wouldn't even consider uh, for a, for an outdoor WrestleMania. You could just do SummerSlam. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I, I think I think as far as that goes, no, I think that the, that's what the experiment is is certainly leading to. Uh, Wheels, you got something? Oh, uh, what I was going to say is plus, I mean. This whole weekend, you're dealing with so many other things of they're going to be showing you content from the new game because every SummerSlam, they bring out the new features and things from the new WWE video game. So, of course, they're going to have somebody outside the venue with a ring. Plus, you'll have ESPN there. And so this is the summertime WrestleMania. Yes. 
Yeah, with the celebrities, certainly. Uh, with the ESPN is really making it important. And, of course, it is in New York that helps, too. And we were discussing that a little bit last night. How much is it helping that it's in New York versus L.A.? But it was a big deal for L.A., too. It was like every year they go to the Staples Center. Um, but I think they're just kind of changing the vibe of that maybe a little bit. Um, so let's get to the, let's get to the card itself. Uh, a lot happening here. Uh, I think I just counted 10 matches real quick on this. Uh, so let's do the rundown. What you guys think? Uh, uh, kind of just quick, quick picks and, 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 and thoughts on this if we can. Uh, first of all, Kevin Owens versus Cesaro. Uh, this could be a show stealer the entire night. And he, the top of the card looks amazing too. Hey, hey Sork, who wins? 